Hey guys, welcome back. Let's talk about the Scorpio full moon, which is gonna be happening May 7th, 2020. There is a lot that we need to talk about, and you guys know I'm gonna do it openly and candidly, but I want you to kind of buckle up because this is one of those full moons that can trigger a lot of emotion. We're gonna talk about it in full detail. On my left, I have the astrology chart of the exact moment that the full moon is occurring. I also have my notes here so I don't forget anything. Also, channeled messages that I wrote down for me to share with you. And then I also have Colette Baron reads the Good Tarot deck that I really felt myself gravitating towards that I shuffled and pulled from. And at the base of that reading, or the, at the base of that deck, is the King of Pentacles, and we'll talk about that in a minute as well. So, this is one of those moments where I, as an astrologer, I'm so happy that I can read the astrology chart in the way that I can because I feel like if I didn't have astrology to fall back on, I would be losing my mind. And this is one of those things where, this is one of those moments in history that you know, we can talk about things like super moons or um, eclipses. This, this, this full moon reminds me of the vibe that we talk about so much with super moons and eclipses. I feel it is that potent. In fact, as I'm looking at this chart, I'm really getting a sense that 80 to 95 percent of the population is going to feel this and be impacted by this in such a really powerful way. Now that is the highest percentage that I've ever given, I think, on my YouTube channel throughout my history of making these videos and putting out predictions. But I truly believe that 80 to 95% of the population is gonna feel this in a really strong way. So part of this is because of Pluto, right? So Pluto is nearing the very end nearing not at the end but nearing the end of its saturn uh, or capricorn transit and now at the time of this full moon pluto is now retrograde the problem with this is that when a planet is exiting out of a sign it really starts to put in some of its heavier punches and it can and a planet like pluto can really feel invasive on our energy it can feel it really feel draining the word is provocative i don't know why that just came through but there's some things that might be revealing themselves that might be provocative things that we might be ashamed of, things that may be shocking to our system and shocking to our beliefs and shocking to our ego. There's one thing that is standing out to me and it's the word addictions. I'm really getting a sense of how we have formulated ways, formulated responses to deal with a world that sometimes things are outside of our control. At the end of the day, we're all human, right? So at the end of, at the end of the day, we're all imperfect beings and we're just trying to make it through. We're trying to do the best that, that we can. And sometimes the way that we power through and the way that we, what's the word, that we adjust to things are, they could be toxic or it would seem like it's constructive it would seem like it adds benefit to our lives but anything off balance can be it can turn into an addiction it can turn into a problem now at the time of this full moon I really want you guys to pay attention to your addictions now addictions doesn't mean things like tobacco or alcohol or drugs or sex or anything like that although that can be a part of it it could be your addiction to procrastinating it could be your um, addiction to self-sabotage it could be your addiction like your codependency issues and that's the thing that is that I'm seeing as I'm looking at this chart we're working with Capricorn energy now I know that we're talking about the full moon in Scorpio but that's only a trigger you guys if you are um, an old friend to my YouTube channel and if you're part of the Bahati, Bahati vibe tribe you know that I don't look at just one single aspect aspect of the chart and aspect of a moment i look at the entire chart because the entire chart is speaking all of the planets are a part of this conversation that we're hearing right now and that conversation impacts us as above so below so the scorpio full moon 
is pretty much just the trigger point that e unleashes and releases pent up emotion that has been sitting dormant for for a long long time and i would not be i would be doing you a disservice if i only talked about that one aspect the full moon is very important that's why you're watching this video right now to see how this is going to impact you but it's not just a full moon. There's something, of course, that's being uncapped. It's like taking a soda pop and shaking it and haven't shaken it for a long time. And then it takes a trigger point, something like the full moon that sets it all off. So at the time of this, at the full moon, I'm really looking at the fact that Saturn is now moving in the sign of Aquarius. I'm looking at the fact that Jupiter is in the sign of Capricorn. I'm looking at the part of fortune, Pluto uh, now retrograde in the sign of Capricorn. All of these things are showing me that there's a really strong ob observation on your need to control, your need to um, manipulate certain things. Now manipulation, I really want, I don't want to set any, anyone off or offend anyone, but manipulation just means how we, how we react to certain things in order to get what we want for ourselves, whatever our intention is. You could have good intention, you could have bad intention, you could have intention for, for good or for evil. It's totally up to you, but it's how you do things in order to get things to happen in the way that you want them to happen, the way that you want them to occur. But Saturn, Capricorn energy, because that's what we're working with right now. Um, Saturn, Saturn energy says that there is this feeling, these feelings of coldness. There's this feeling of distance. There's a feeling of abandonment. There could be issues of, am I secure? Do I have a secure foundation? Am I being supported? Am I stable? Am I a leader? Do I feel like I have power? Do I feel like I, um, I'm mature? Do I have what it takes? All of those feelings could be triggered from par um, areas of your life where you're, you have experienced an extreme absence where something might have left you and now all there is left is a cold void, a distant echo like this abyss, you know? And it's the full moon in Scorpio. Scorpio rules like our, our deepest, deepest feelings. Things that a lot of people, most people, more people than not are uncomfortable expressing it. They're uncomfortable sharing it because it really hits a vulnerable spot. So when we have this full moon and the moon connects to our emotions and our emotional needs, moving through the sign of Scorpio, um, revealing it, kind of popping the cap, and we have all of these planets moving together in order to really shake up these dormant issues that you may have felt that you have left behind, it can really trigger you. It can really be difficult to digest. It can be really uncomfortable to sit with. So what I want you guys to do at the time of this full moon is to really take this as a time that if you feel yourself getting triggered, if you feel yourself getting emotionally shook up by certain things, and I really am getting a, a visual visual of a bottle cap or like a bottle pop, like the Mexican colas, you know, the vintage colas. I love those, by the way. Not the American ones, the Mexican ones. Those are my favorite. But those those vintage, those those bottles, shaking that up for a really really long time putting it out in the hot sun shaking it up in extreme climate changes extreme changes in weather and extreme changes in in uh, uh conditions that is you and you're doing your best to adjust to it you're doing your best to be flexible with it but that pressure doesn't just disappear just because you want the best for yourself or because you're striving to be your highest and greatest self those feelings are still there and they're still very much real and they can be triggered by certain things so it's it's saturn energy capricorn energy and i know again this full moon's happening in the sign of scorpio but you have to realize that the full moon is really all about things coming to a head coming to culmination things that have been bent um, pent up and built up for quite some time and scorpio is ruled co-ruled co by mars Mars is currently moving through the sign of Aquarius, so there's this need to detach. There's this, there's this need to kind of do things your way. There's this need to um, kind of, it's almost like I'm like this feeling of I've had it. Like I want to have the, the I want to do what's right for everyone, but I've also been emotionally disconnecting from myself. And then, you know, there's this one, th then all of a sudden there's this trigger that 
put reveals it all to you it could be something someone says it could be an expectation that you have on yourself it could be a responsibility why because Saturn energy all of these things are triggered by the uh, the, the energy of what Saturn brings right now Scorpio is co-ruled by Mars and Pluto Pluto is now retrograde Pluto is retrograde in the sign of Capricorn so all of these things are coming through and it's a reminder of your need to embrace it when it shows up and sit with it and realize that it is absolutely normal and expected for it to feel more uncomfortable, more isolating, more emotionally triggering. Some of you guys are gonna feel like you're right on the edge. If you hear any um, vacuuming in the background, it's the cleaning people are, are cleaning right now. So I hope that that's not too much of a distraction. I hope you guys can um, put that aside. But I wanted to get this video done for you. I didn't want you guys to wait. So I want you guys to realize that it is going to be uncomfortable and it's going to be your willpower that is going to help you to power through this. Realize that some of the things that you are working with are really deep seated issues of abandonment, um, feeling like uh, powerless, a need to control, a need to find your place in this world. They come from a really deep place. So when that, when that comes through, you know, you really want to, you know, sit with it and, and, and embrace it in the sense that you want to not look at it and, and see it with judgment. You don't want to feel disgusted with yourself or disappointed in yourself or disappointed those, in those situations. Realize that at some points there was disappointment. Realize that you might not be happy in this area of your life. Realize that you wish you could have done something. Realize that in some areas you did have no control. You were powerless. And in that, embrace it. That's when you take all of the pieces of these cracked aspects of within yourself, these shards of yourself, the shadow sides of yourself, and instead of running from it, it becomes, it, it, may, it gives you power. And that's what it is that I'm seeing at the time of this full moon. I wanna see every single one of you guys setting intention for you to be strong within your willpower, for, you, for your strength to come from a really healthy, secure place, for you to know that you are worth it, that you are valuable, that you should feel se 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 secure, that you should feel supported, that it's not for you to take advantage of anyone or be taken advantage of. You have to know who you are and stand in that, speak your truth, put those, you know, um, work, live your purpose, like put all those, put all that energy out there and not feel as though you're a drain on society or you're a drain on resources or that you don't have what it takes. Um, there's also this um, need for compassion and I feel, I, and this is coming from Neptune, this is Neptune in Pisces, Neptune energy is all about really having this really soft, sympathetic, empathetic, compassionate approach to anything that you might be dealing with, right? This is when you have to, you, you're learning, all of us, this is every single one of us, this is when you're learning how to unconditionally accept yourself, flaws and all, and just embrace it embrace each other embrace yourself embrace imperfections realize that we all have vices and keep trying keep trying keep trying keep showing up the other thing that i'm seeing is um sun moving through taurus uranus moving through taurus mercury moving through taurus this is energy that is stubborn it doesn't give up it's a fixed sign it's earth energy this is material material um, things that we can touch, things that we can feel, things that are here, present now, and we don't give up on them. So there's this space here that it is that I'm seeing that as the, you're emotionally getting triggered by certain things, as you are reacting, as you might be feeling powerless, feeling like um, um, this feeling of like powerlessness and lack of control, still realize that that is normal. That is, I don't want to say good because nothing is good or bad it just is what it is but don't give up on like almost be stubborn in your pursuit almost be stubborn in your willpower to gain control of your life to gain direction of your life to gain clarity of your life to find faith again to believe in your purpose to push yourself to your purpose all of those things be stubborn with it be relentless with it Taurus is ruled by the bull, and if you think about a bull when it's sitting in a field it's not rushing anywhere it's not going anywhere it's stick, but if you poke it, if you provoke it, it's going to charge 
charge at you. Some of you guys are going to be provoked by certain things and you, you want to do your best to kind of detach from it. Go for a walk. There's this space of really emotionally trying to detach yourself from things that trigger you. So you're going to be triggered by certain stuff. There's going to be things that ruffle your feathers. There's going to be things that are going to annoy you. It's going to be from a deeper place. It's not just annoyance. When I'm using the word annoyance, that doesn't even... That doesn't even, that's like the tip of the iceberg. This annoyance and this anger comes from a really deep space of hurt. But if you're, if you're wise, you realize and you see it for what it is and you use it for your highest and greatest good. Instead of reacting at someone and sort of canceling certain things, you go for a walk, you get a, a breath of fresh air, you refocus again, and that's how you gain control in a world where there is no control. Okay, some of you guys are really gonna come out of this totally different totally different person it's going to be like death of the old you birth of the new you at the time of the full moon i also want to remind you that pluto represents rebirth and regeneration and this is from a space of like it seemed like it was lost it always seems like it's lost it always seems like you know you, that this person can never re-emerge brand new and somehow some way some shape or form they do if you think about a starfish you know in the bottom of the ocean if it gets hurt it that it has everything in its dna in order to regrow and to become stronger by the, the by the same spot that it was hurt from by the same spot that the wound was i don't know if you guys have heard this but you hear the quote a lot um, or I have where the quote is the wound is the strength so where you find the the wound is where you find healing where you are most vulnerable is where you'll find your strength so you have to pull from that Pluto is lending that energy to you right now that says anything that we have chopped off anything that is now regenerating in your life that is being reborn new it's gonna come back even more solid than it was why solid because Capricorn energy, Capricorn lends itself to not just the here, the now, the temporary, and the present moment, but to the future, your future, my future, our future as a whole. So this is what it is that I'm seeing, you guys. Um, I think that this is gonna be a beautiful full moon. I think that it's gonna be really intense, but you know me, I'm all about that intensity. I'm all about that intense vibes. What I wanna tell you guys is just not to give up. Really don't give up. Um, the, the the full moon the, the moon is happening in the sign of Scorpio and it's raging there it's really really raging also the the moon is getting really close to the vertex point the vertex point is the the point of faded encounters and faded circumstances the vertex point is getting a beautiful trine from Neptune the planet of dreams idealistic visions and prophecies that is that we have for ourselves that the divine has for us that we can see intuitively through our third eye and also compassion and empathy the same thing that it was i was talking to you guys about before so as easy as it is to get triggered by certain things really pull from that higher space as much as you can more for yourself but also sharing that with others um and then so opposite of that is the sun that's sitting in the sign of Taurus. And Taurus rules what is most valuable to us, which is most worth it to us, which is substance. Things that it is that we really want. At, at, even now, our values are shifting. Our, our perspective is changing. Now let's go ahead and look at these cards. Okay, so King of Earth, that makes a lot of sense, right? So this is showing me that there's new solid ground. Um, I'm seeing a lot of you guys stepping up into this um, position of power for yourself that you don't have to, it's not a bravado. It's not things that you just shout it out. It's, it's something that you know. It's, it's a swag that is that you have, like an energy. It's the truth of who you are. And really becoming solid and stable within that, especially when we're working with Capricorn energy, with, with um, uh, Jupiter and Pluto retrograde and the part of fortune in the sign of, of Saturn or Capricorn. This has King of Pentacles written all over it and also Earth Energy Taurus. Then we also pulled the star card. This brings me right to Neptune sitting in the, in the sign of uh, Pisces right now. This is all about and also it's connecting me to Mars. Mars in the sign of Aquarius because this is about you know really doing things from a higher space where you might not see it now you might not see the light at the end of the tunnel but you you have to look for it you have to believe that it's there you have to strive for it let that be your passion mars rules 
our our um, our our aggression towards things, how we fight for things, the best way to fight for things, the best way to pursue things, and it's from a space of it might not be here right now all the time or in a way that we can feel it, but we still have to strive for it. We still have to have hope. We still have to have idealistic expectations for what can occur. It might seem like it's light years ahead, but things are happening so rapidly. That's the energy of Uranus as a whole, right? Uranus rules the energy of Aquarius. So it moves things with rapid fire in ways that is light years ahead of the rest of us. Queen of Pentacles is here. Also the Chariot card. Also, Two of, two of Pentacles is here. This is working with two separate things, two separate energies, the light and the shadow. The shadow aspects of ourselves and the, and the sides of ourselves that we're comfortable with. The things that we, we don't like and the things that it is that we you know, graciously embrace. You want to give grace and mercy to every single aspect of yourself, to approach yourself with no judgment. And that's what it is that I'm seeing with the chariot and the two of Pentacles. This is learning how to work with both of those things and merging them. This, we also have the temperance card here. This card is a, says patience within the, the good tarot, but this is ruled by temperance. This is about learning how to blend, to merge with no judgment, with compassion, with empathy. The same thing that it was that I was talking to you guys about before. And to summarize it, we have the queen of earth and we also have the queen of air. This is all of, this is showing me how mature this energy is and how you guys are evolving into the next level of maturity for yourself, no matter how old you are, how young you are. You are stepping into a space of security and clarity. Queen of, Queen of Air knows who she is, she knows what she wants, and her words reflect that. Queen of Earth is the same thing, and how she invests herself and where she puts her energy, it reflects that, and that's what I'm seeing for you guys. So I'm sending you guys all of my love and all of the blessings that the universe can possibly give to you at the time of this full moon. I hope that you are well. I hope that this message resonates. If you have any questions or any comments, let me know down below in the comments and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Until then, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.